Hey guys, it's one of the Mirrors writers here back with another video, and today we will be breaking down the brand new trailer for the new MC movie, The Internals. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. A quick disclaimer that I'll be mentioning times that are from the trailer posted by Marvel Entertainment. The song playing in the trailer is called The End of the World by Skeeter Davis. The song is from the point of view of a woman who has just ended a long-term relationship and is wondering why the world is continuing since the world is over for her. At 22 seconds, we see the Eternals coming to Earth in this ship, which is reminiscent of the ship that Thanos used in Thor Ragnarok's end credit scene. This means that they could have come from the same area, which had the same technology, and we could even get a name drop for Thanos. The village looks like it is in the Stone Age, which makes sense since in the comics, the Eternals came to Earth thousands of years ago. At 23 seconds, when the ship appears and we see the people looking at it, the song says, don't they know it is the end of the world? Maybe they came to Earth for a reason and there was some sort of cosmic threat they came to stop. At 31 seconds, Cersei's voiceover says that it's beautiful, which can imply that they were escaping somewhere and going to a new world for freedom. This is another valid theory as to why they came to Earth. At 46 seconds, we see them presumably right after they got off the ship, walking through the village's fields. They are also helping the villagers grow plants with their powers. They also seem to be accepted members of their civilization. At 103, we see an overview of what used to be a small and impoverished village, which is now a beautiful and large city. So, so with the internal's help, they had very advanced technology for their time. During the overview, we hear Ajax say we helped them accomplish wonders, meaning technological advancements. At 107, we see Makari reading books, uh, and she has a tremendous library. Maybe she will be the character who has great knowledge of human literature and can now help the Eternals with her knowledge. At 109, we hear a voice over by Ajax saying that they have never interfered, meaning that if they came out of hiding, they probably would have been very hated, which would make sense for the time period and only the first village interacted with who knows who they are, and ex which accepts them. At 113, we see Sprite with a volcanic background. This could be related to the volcano we see at 130 and the volcanic destruction we see later in the trailer. When we see her, it is right after the voiceover, which discusses how they don't interfere, and she looks very distressed. Maybe, maybe Sprite and Druig wants to help, but was told she, she couldn't. And then some humans, or maybe the entire civilization, died. At 115, when the voiceover says until now, it was Druig. In the comics, he left the Eternals since he disagrees with how they interacted with mankind. Maybe stemming from the volcano incident, or maybe this was building up over many separate incidents. He could be the villain and would force the Eternals to finally fight since he is one of them and they feel he is their fault. They didn't help with, they didn't help with Thanos since he wasn't their fault and they don't want to interfere but now since the threat since the threat is their fault they feel they must help at 118 with a volcanic background makari saves someone from being crushed but this is clearly also in the past maybe she was betraying the orders of the rest of the eternals and was helping or this is before they decide not to help maybe they cause this destruction at 137, we see all the characters standing together in costume. This looks like the seashore where they first arrived on Earth, so Druid could still be our villain, and this doesn't disprove the theory. Also, because it was the same beach, they may have stayed there over many time periods because we see how the village developed and flourished, presumably with their help. At the very end of the trailer, we see the main character eating. Two things to notice from this scene. Firstly, they discuss how Captain America and Iron Man are gone, so some of this movie takes place after Endgame. Also, many of our characters are missing, so maybe many die off early in the movie. So that was our breakdown. Please let us know in the comments what you thought of the trailer and what you think will happen in the movie. Also, comment what movie or TV show you would like us to discuss next. This has been one of the Mirror's writers, and we'll see you guys on the next one.